welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Detroit Tigers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go and towing the slab in this one, Jack Flaherty. And for some reason, he's not quite as effective here in front of his home crowd, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and the fans are well aware of that. For him, he's got to just not press and go out there and say, hey, I'm just treating this like any start. Home, on the road, it doesn't matter. My job is to focus on that catcher's mitt, attack hitters, and just try to move through a ball game. So if he can find that kind of focus, it doesn't matter where he's pitching because he has good enough stuff to go out there and win a ball game. The 0-1. And a swing and a miss. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. Almost got him. Foul ball still a one and two count. Line drive, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. So in now for Cleveland, Angel Martinez. First offering and it just misses. Martinez getting the start in center, 22 years old. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. Nobody out, runner at first. Runner takes off. And a foul ball. Ball to strike. Good eye right there. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count is two and two. Runner at first with no outs here. That just misses, and it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That one is absolutely belted. Lays out and makes the play. Just a great job of concentration there as he leaves the ground to go airborne to make a diving catch. That's a tough play, but he got the job done. Here's Jose Ramirez. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Ball one, no strikes. Man at first, one away. That misses the zone. Two and oh. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Flaherty checks over to first, and he's back. Kicks and deals. Runner takes off in the air left field. Squeezes it. Cool. Here's the Guardians lineup now. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton. And even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. And now it's Josh Naylor that immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter.
two outs. Runner on the go. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Guardians nothing. Tigers coming to bat. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Detroit and getting to start Tanner Bybee. Chris he's got the ability to take control of the game when he's out there. Well incredible mound presence and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over ten coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. Lined into right. Brennan makes the grab one away. And now the Tigers line up for manager A.J. Hinch. This team, Chris, not one that gets a lot of production from hitting homers, so they've got to find offense in other ways. Yeah, Boog, hit sequencing is so important for this team. You know, getting that walk at the right time, coming up with that next knock or extra base hit so that you can actually play to run. If not, oh, then yeah. you see the record go in the direct opposite direction of where it could go. So, you know, a team like this, the good thing, they're going to battle. They're going to put the ball in play and hope that they can find those holes. Next pitch is outside. One out, base is empty. Next offering in there for a strike. That is strike two. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Got him looking. Now two out. Batting third. Matt Veerling up now for the Tigers. Veerling. Just missed. Two out, space is empty. This one lifted in the air, left field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. Scoreless after one. set for the start of the inning the stepping up for the Guardians the John Kenzie Noel John Noel the why to kick the pitch Wait. just oh, missed goes. And that one hammered way back there. And that ball is out of here. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. That's just a great feeling as a hitter. You let the ball travel, tracked it pretty nicely. He's almost beat there, but he gets the bat head in time, and it's true enough to stay fair. I mean, that's a good feeling when you can hit an opposite field home run, and he did it right there. Will nope. Brennan stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Left-hand hitter waits. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. And the righty deals. Chopped to the right side. He oh. steps on the bag. One out in the second. Batting seven. The second baseman. Andres. Here's Andres Jimenez. And Cleveland on top once in. And there's a ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. 
One out, base is empty, and a run in here at the top of the second. Ball and that's inside. off the inside edge. Two and one. And that just misses. Stays alive. Side and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Ball misses. Throw there. Safe. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Cleveland up a run, looking for more. Runner goes again. And the throw out of third. Well, I can see he had a big lead out there at second base, so it wasn't a shock when he took off. But trying to steal third right there, it's kind of risky, man. You're already in scoring position, so you've got to make sure that you can make it there safely. That wasn't the case. Outside corner, there's a strike. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Solo shot for the Guardians this inning. It's now 1-0. Back after this on the show. Bottom half of inning number two is Riley Green. The designated hitter. Riley Green. And the pitch. Just nope. missed. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. Here's a one two. Fights it off, you'll see another. The one two. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. And that one just missed off the outside edge. It's a good take. Up and in, and it's three and two. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting Nine, on a pitch. Eight. He was looking no fastball and didn't see Four. it out of the hand and just left the bat Four. on his shoulder. That was a changeup right over the plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him, Four. and he got no the play. out. Mark Canna stands in here, takes ball one low. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Next pitch is outside. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. 
Not yeah. close with that one. Three and two now. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Dives and he can't hang on. That leaves him without a throw, and they don't get the out. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Carson Kelly stands in now and watches strike one. Fastball for a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Off the mark there. Now one and two. O2 oh, fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Swings and misses. Struck him out. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? Zach McKinstry up now for the Tigers. Fastball for a strike. Canna leads off first with two down to the inning. That one misses, and the count is one and one. Check swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. Two strikes. And a one two. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Ramirez drifts towards it, brings it in for the third out. Tigers leave one. They're down one nothing. Back at Comerica Park, Bo Naylor at the plate now. Bo Naylor. And the right hander back to work. That's in there. One one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. And a pop up right side foul territory. Kelly drifts towards it. One down. Got the pitch that he wanted. Just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. So the batting order turns over. Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. He's one for one. Let off the game with a single. In the dirt, and that's ball one. And he grounds one to the right side. He takes it on his own. Two up, two down. The center fielder, number one, Angel Martinez. Two outs, space is empty. And up next for Cleveland, Angel Martinez. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. In there for strike one. In this situation, as the number two hitter, two out, nobody on, you want to be a table setter. Work the at bat, get deep, whatever it takes, get on first base. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Guardians go down one, two, three, but they hold a one nothing lead.
And we're back. Set for the bottom of the third. Gior Shella steps in. Baidu back to work. And a good eye there. And a pitch. Yeah. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes. The next ball. pitch misses. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And here it comes. Full count. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Righty delivers. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Nope. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Javier Baez in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Tying run is at first here in the last half of the third. That one misses. Now 2-0. Oh. Ground ball right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Wenzel Perez. He's over one. And the pitch is in for a strike. Going one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Checks his swing. Now would appeal to third. And yes, he did. He went around. Kicks and fires. One that ball, missed by a lot. Now one and two. Urshela, the lead runner out at second. Baez at first with no outs. And now it's even up. On the ground, a short could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. Throw, and it gets away. And this ball's going to wind up out of play. So a big time costly mistake there. And next up for the Tigers, Colton Keith. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Ball one, no strikes. Tied up here in the early going. Fall off foul. Hot shot to third. Sends it across the first. Two away. And now it's going to be Matt Veerling. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Fastball for a strike. Boom, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Man on second, two down. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 
comes a pitch. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Next offering way off the plate. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. And the pitch gets a piece and stays alive. The 2 2 on the way. He's trying for third. Pitch misses inside. Throw to third. Save. That solo base right there was all about the jump off the pitcher. He got a nice lead, timed him up perfectly, and was off to the races as soon as that pitcher went home. That's how you want to do it. That excites the entire team over there in the dugout. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. At the belt and fires. Right side. Brennan settles underneath it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the third out. One run, one hit, one error, and one left. On to inning number four. All tied 1-1. One, one. Back here in Detroit, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jose Ramirez. The right-hander back to work. Swing and a foul straight back. Next oh, offering is down low. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's got a leadoff double. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Go ahead, run on base. Next is the designated hitter, Josh Naylor. Not even close there. And it's one to know. That's towards center. Veerlin under it. He makes the grab. Rounder tags it second. And he's in safely at third with one out. The first baseman, John Kenji Noel. So up next, John Kenzie Noel. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch doesn't find the zone. the swing there. One ball, two strikes. On the ground, right side. Yeah. Down the line, and it's foul. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is even two and two. 
On the ground, right side, into the outfield base hit. In to score from third. And a 2-1 ball game now. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Will Brennan digs in for the Guardians. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. Right through there for a strike. Brennan, 26 years old, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2019. Ground ball up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Goes to second. Safe there. So first and second with one gone. So in now for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. Pitch in the dirt. 1-0. and oh. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Strike one. One ball, one strike. And he pumps it a strike. Lifted in the air down the left side. And it's foul. The one, two. And another ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. That one misses. And it's a full count. Number 10. Waiting for a turn at the plate. Noel at second. Brennan over at first with one away. Got him! And there's two away. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Now, number 10. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. 0 oh, and 1. Good, You'll want. Nope, that's inside. That one that's missed. Walter. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Left hand batter waits. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Well, just threw that fastball by and elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up. Now that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Guardians two and the Tigers one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go, bottom four. Now it's the DH, Riley Green. Green. The wind of the pitch. That one fouled off. Well, these Tigers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. And one and two. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Swings and misses. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Here's Mark Canna. 
reached on an infield single his first time. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. one's the count. Good Whoa, eye right there. There's a strike. Now it's belted. Deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. That was blasted to the moon. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 2-2. That one just sounded different. Man, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. <laughs> Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Base is empty one away and now the batter is Carson Kelly up the middle the minutes throws the first in time now batting third baseman Zach McKinstry, Zach McKinstry the next to hit first time up was a pop out That's one, inside. One, no Two down, base is empty, but one run across. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Hey. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. I got a ball, one strike. And ball, another ball. Pulls that one foul. The wind of the pitch. Noel. He takes Got it himself him. to the bag, and that'll do it. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. 2-2 game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at Comerica Park, and here's the catcher, Bo Naylor. Bo Naylor. Clarity back to work. That ah. one's in there, and it's 0 and 1. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Now battle. The left field. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Stephen Kwan. One for two. There goes the runner. And fouled off. The 0 1. And that one fouled off. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. There goes down looking. No, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, it had a lot of the strike zone. Sure, it had some good arm side run at the end to move to the outside part of the plate. But with two strikes, you got to be ready to swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. And now the center fielder, Angel Martinez. Flaherty a move to first. Naylor dives back in safely. He swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. On one. And the right hander deals. Breaking ball through there for a strike. On two.
try to keep this a 2-2 game. And we're at the top of the fifth. Hit in the air, center field. He's there. He's got it. And there's two down. Now back. Third base. Jose Ramirez. Now it's Jose Ramirez. For me, Boog, Ramirez has been the heart and soul of Cleveland baseball for a few years now. When his career is over, he's going to be considered one of the best players to ever play for this franchise. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Foul ball, he stays alive. Naylor off of first with two away. Fights that one away, still one and two. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. And another ball. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than to have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Two outs. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. <laughs> I don't know how this at bat will end, but I'll be sad when it does. So much fun watching this thing go back and forth. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Last half of the fifth coming up. We are tied 2-2. And we're back, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the first baseman, Gio Urshela. And he deals. Fastball for a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Gavin Williams preparing to come on if needed. Barlow also getting ready. And that's in the dirt. One and one. And it misses inside. The pitch. And he swings through that one. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now batting, shortstop, Javier. Baez. Now it's Javier Baez. One for one with a single so far. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being hey. scored, this guy is a big contributor. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. Next offering in there for a strike. And that's strike two. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a ball premier one. position. And that's what he does. One ball, two strikes, the count. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. One down, base is empty. Right through there, got him. 
Oh man for the fifth inning moving along two quick outs. Back to the top of the Detroit order. Wenzel Perez up now for the Tigers. Just missed. And now two and nothing. Righty to the plate. Fastball for a strike. Down the line. And it's Ow. just foul. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Got him. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. Three up, three down that time. We're through five. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the DH, Josh Naylor. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. There's a strike at the knees. Oh, one, one. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Tyler Holton, the left-hander, up and throwing. Number 91, also throwing. The 1 And a foul ball. That one to first, and foul ball. Foul ball still 0-2. The pitch. Just outside, and it's 1-2. and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Hit on the ground to the right side. Steps on oh. first for the out. The batter. The first baseman. Stepping up for the Guardians, John Kenzie Noel. He's already homered in this game. He was late there, strike one. All one's the count. Base is empty, one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. And that's off the inside edge. And the count even one and one. That one at the knees for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Up and in. And the count's even at two. One down, base is empty. Good eye in that spot. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Side and that is ball four. You know, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches right for this game. Will Man at first with Brennan. one gone. Will Brennan digs in for the Guardians. Almost a hundred pitches through five and a third innings. I'm thinking he's probably done in the next couple of batters. Swing and a miss as he was late. Well, a come and give oh, me one. fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Oh, Next one. pitch misses, and it's a ball to strike. And 
the righty deals. And that one fouled off. Noel stands at first with one out. In the air to left center. He's under it. Brings it in. And there's two away. Now batting the second baseman, Andre. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. A strikeout and a walk. And that one's a little bit low. Yeah, that's ball one. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes a nice running catch. And that'll do it. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on. 2-3-4 due up in the home half of the sixth. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Gavin Williams. He's got a now, wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches Gavin when he needs an out. Williams. Colt Keith up, up now for the Tigers. Tigers. The second baseman. The pitch. Check swing. Went around. And that is strike one. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Movement in the pen for the Guardians. Peter Strezlecki. Getting ready to go. The why to kick the pitch. Ah, that First hit him. Three. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, it definitely didn't come out of his hand the way that he was intending it to. And the release point was a little bit off as well. Run around the move. Fought off foul. Here comes the 0 1. Inside, just missed. With the go ahead run at first, here in the bottom of the sixth. And ball another lifted. ball. And a 2-1 on the way. Fastball for a strike. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Three. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Oh, well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Really good read by the runner there. His secondary lead, he anticipates the trajectory going down and gets a really nice jump up to second base. Now he's in scoring position. He's taken away the double play opportunity. Right-handed reliever. That one down the line, and it's just foul. That was close. Fouled off. He was late. Runner at second here, one gone. The 
one two and that one upstairs swing and a ground ball up the middle that's a base hit Keith headed for the plate here's the throw it's offline and he scores well, that was an important at-bat in this game, so great job there stepping up to the challenge. Didn't try to do too much with it, just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Now, here is Mark Ken. Throw! Save! When you're trying to swipe a bag against an elite-level arm behind the plate like this guy, you better get a great jump and hope that your speed can finish this job. That was a great jump right there. Really nice steal of second base. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Throws the first in time. Now batting, catcher, Carson. Here's the catcher, Kelly. Carson Kelly. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Splits the plate. That's strike one. No, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And the slider just misses. At the ball. In the dirt, blocked. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Fastball in for a strike, and it's two and two. is off the outside edge. Zach McKinstry waiting to hit for Detroit. Two outs with a runner at third. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. The run scores from third, and they take a two-run lead. And he's got a double. He was all over that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Man at second here with two away. Zach McKinstry digs in now. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that is ball one. And here it comes. That ball misses. Two. two balls, no strikes. Kelly stands at second with two gone. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. That one finds the zone. Two and two now. Right-hander kicks deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. And another ball. Gio Urshela up next.
Line drive. That's a hit. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Bang, bang play at the plate right there. Outfielder needed no help. An absolutely perfect throw to get him. Right on the money. Excellent tag by the catcher. And the inning ends on an awesome play. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Tyler Holton. And one thing on him. He's been now, really good this season Tiger. at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Here's the shortstop at the play. There's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Hey. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Holton in his second season, 27 years old. And he found his way onto the team after being claimed off waivers. The pitch. Well, that's off the plate. And there's a foul ball. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. He'll have some adjustments to make. Got a batter now. Bo Nailer. Well struck right field. And that one is off the wall. Throws to second. And that's a double. And he hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Stephen Kwan will hit next. First pitch misses. Tying run at the plate. Just missed. And you got to wonder with first base open, one out. Is he going to get a pitch to hit? This one in the air right field. But it falls. Could be extra bases. In comes the run from second. And they trail by one. And he gets there. The tying runs at third with a triple. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. Next for Cleveland, Angel Martinez. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Got the back going too soon at strike two. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Going to count one and two. Here comes a pitch. Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. And a pitch. Line drive. Pulls it in. And there's two away. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove. But you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Alex Fiedo. On for the 30th time this year.
And now it's switch hitting third baseman Jose Ramirez. One for three. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The tying run is 90 feet away. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Righty delivers. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. the inning and they limit the damage he's in a tough spot had to make a great pitch did it got the strikeout gets out of the jam clearly he's happy with those results We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Peter Strezlecki. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Well, one run game. Now it's going to be Gio Urshela. He's 0 for 1. And the pitch. There's a swing and a drive. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now there are several ways that they can get this run across. So man aboard. Now it's the shortstop, Javier Baez. There's the strike of the knees. On one. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here at the bottom of the seven. That one finds the zone. 0 oh and 2. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Line to left. Quan calls it in, and there's one away. The right fielder, Wenzel Perez. So the lineup flips over. Wenzel Perez up now for the Tigers. There's a strike. Urshela, the runner at second with one away. Next offering upstairs. Man at second. Just off the outside edge. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. And the right hander deals on the ground to first, oh. and they get the out. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there, just rolled oh, over it, got the ground ball. The second baseman, Colt oh. Keith, getting ready to hit. That one fouled off.
two outs. Just off the outside edge. And now it's even one and one. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Fouls it off. Still one and two. At the belt and fires. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Rudder at third. Two away. Foul ball still a one and two count. Bounce to the right, and it goes just foul. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Left hand batter waits. Bounced up the middle. And that one handled. Fires to first on the run. They get the out. And that'll do it. One left for Detroit. And it remains a 4 3 game. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Andrew Chafin. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Here's Josh Naylor. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. The pitch. That one not close. And that's ball one. Tigers bullpen with some action. Jason Foley getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Miller warming up as well. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that one fouled off. Left-hand hitter waits. That's a little bit low. Two two now. And a swing and a miss. Important first out to begin the eighth. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. So digging in, John Kenzie Noel. Lined in the left center, should be extra bases. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Will Brennan digs in for the Guardians. Swing and a miss. It's all one. So the tying run at second. And that skips in the dirt. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Next offering misses down and away. They tried to get him to go chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. On the ground right side. 
under Shella two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. So in now for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez, known for his late inning heroics. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks, ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Guardians leave one. Score holds at 4-3. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, number 36. He's certainly been one of their better relief pitchers this season. The numbers are really solid, so they feel great about handing the ball over to him. Matt Veerlin up now for the Tigers. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Veerlin. The pitch. That misses. Ball one. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. And that's a leadoff double. That's such a frustrating play for an outfielder. You know you should make this play, but you never really had a chance because of the bad angle. What should have been an out turned out to be a double. So a man aboard. Riley Green up now for the Tigers. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Kicks and deals. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. One ball. Two Squirts strikes. away a little bit. Well done behind the dish. No outs. Runner on second. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Makes the catch. Runner tags it second, and he makes it up to third with one away. The batter, the left fielder, Mark Canna. Mark Canna up now for the Tigers. You have to find a way to score the runner from third, especially with less than two outs. Wait for the pitch you want and hit it as hard as you can. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This would be a big pickup if he can push a run across. And that is in for a strike. Going one. Hey. That strike right there. Righty to the plate. Battling here as he fouls it away. One away with a runner at third. Here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. And now one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Catcher has it, fires the first. Gets the out, two down after the strikeout. Big strikeout right there, and that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield was in, so now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. Carson Kelly up now for the Tigers. Swing and a foul back, that's out of play. Beerling at third with two away. Go, 
And now the count is even. And that's down and away. Two outs. That one a little bit high. And that's ball three. Zach McKinstry waits on deck. In the air, center field. Sizing this one up. He's got it. And that is out number three. Tigers leave one, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jason Foley. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. And he deals. Number 10 in now. Takes ball one off the plate. And a ground ball to first. The flip to the pitcher covering, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in a ball game like this, positioned perfectly. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. David Fry. And he would be the tie and run boot, so we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. There's a strike. A one run lead here at the top of the night. On its way to the corner. And that drops foul. Next offering is downstairs. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. One down, base is empty. The other way, fair ball. One of the hardest things to do in the game, to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity, and he came through for his club right there. Back to the top of the lineup, Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. There's a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. One run game here at the top of the ninth. pitch and one that one almost hit him straighten him up a little bit and a pitch fights that one away still one and two one run game one out one on One, two now. 
In the air out to center, and that'll fall for a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now a wide throw to third. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And fouled off. That oh. one off the mark. And a count one and two. One, ball, two strikes, count. one out. The possible tying and go ahead runs on base. He deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. Kicks and fires. On the ground to short, Baez. Off balance feed, there's one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Now the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. Now be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Number 91 appears to be getting loose. Best, the hard-throwing right-hander up as well. That's hard hit in the line. And it's into the gap. Around second on his way to third. Heading for the plate. He scores and they have the lead. It's 5-4. Big RBI for him right there. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. for the Tigers number 91 and that's a big potential run out there at second as he comes in trying to keep the deficit where it is for the infielders they got to be thinking about keeping the ball from getting by them into the outfield any way they can so runner at second two now Josh Naylor the next to hit 0 for 4 a couple of flyouts. he's also grounded out and struck out fastball for a strike The 0 1. 1 and 1. In the dirt. And the runner holds. Next oh, offering that's upstairs. Wide. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. John Kenzie Noel would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. And a 3-1 on the way. Hey. On the corner for a strike. Okay. Ramirez on its second with two down. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. With a couple of runs in the inning puts him ahead. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, due up in inning number nine. It's the Guardians five and the Tigers four.
So remaining in the game defensively, David Fry. He takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Here comes Emmanuel Classe out of the bullpen. 29 saves on the season, so he's looking for number 30 right here. He's been big for him in the back of that bullpen. Well, one run game at the play. Zach McKinstry. And here it comes. Fought off foul. One run game, bottom nine. That one the other way. And out number one on the grab. He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line now drives don't always First find place, a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit velo, the better off you're going to be in the long run. Here's Gio Urshela. That's a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. That's down and in. A slider missed. Trying to close out a one run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. Swing and a miss. And he got him to chase. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. One and two here. Slider misses outside. Got him looking. Just one out remaining for the Tigers. Up next for the Tigers. Javi Baez digs in right side. Oh, you got the number nine hole hitter right here. Looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup have a chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. That one's in there on one. Classe is just one strike away. One ball. Ball Two one strikes. there. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. The one two. Swing and a miss struck him out. And that is the ball game. He's done it again, Boog. That's his 30th save of the year as he puts another game to bed. Sweet dreams, everyone. Close one here today and your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.